What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So I'm sitting here editing videos, start going through my emails, and in the emails and messages on Facebook I wind up getting questions like, what do you think about Kai Green pulling out of the Prog Pro? Now, I'm thinking that most people are going to expect me to sit here and bash Kai, and um, I notice a lot of his supporters, they're not defending him right now. They're not, oh, Kai's the best, Kai's the best. A lot of people are disappointed that he did that. There's his biggest supporters who make videos about him are not saying anything about it. You know, they're, um, they're basically kind of keeping quiet about it because they're not really sure what to think about it themselves. And I'm just going to go on record here saying that I don't know for a fact what's going on. Nobody does, and nobody's going to know unless Kai himself decides to come clean and say exactly what happened because he left it very vague that he had uh, some... You know, one thing reported stomach issues, but his video that I saw uh, as his press conference said some issues with his health. Now, this is not speculation. This is um, just possibilities that it could be. Now, when a pro, he actually made a video talking about how, you know, when you're an amateur, you can pull out of a show. and It's not a big deal. When, it's a, when you're a pro, you don't usually have that luxury. So if someone's going to pull out of the show, usually something very major is wrong, Okay. Now, a lot of people are saying that Kai was going to be in fourth place at the Prog Pro, and his ego couldn't handle it, and he pulled out. Now, I don't think that's necessarily true. I think that if Kai's ego was that fragile, placing second over and over again at the Olympia, he would have fucking lost his shit by now and really either quit or made an even bigger stink himself, which, you know, he's not making videos, and he's not doing interviews when he does them fucking ragging on Phil and ragging on the IFBB and talking all kinds of shit. He hasn't walked away from the sport because he's so disgusted that he feels like he should have won. So I don't think it's his ego getting to him saying that, hey, I was going to place fourth, so I'm going to pull out of the show. In the pictures, if you look in the pictures, and I'm always one to say, hey, you can't go by the pictures, but you can see clearly in the pictures, on Kai's ankles below his calves, you can see where his socks had dug in and the imprint was still on his leg. Now, some people are like, Jerry, who gives a fuck? He's probably wearing socks because his feet were cold. Yes, but when you're bone dry, you don't have that line, which means his body was retaining water for some reason. And he looked very flat. Muscle-wise, he wasn't popping and looking as full and as big as he was at the Olympia. Now, I know it was reported that he was also supposed to compete, I think, at the Arnold Brazil, and he decided not to compete. And that was kind of a shock to everyone. Everyone was like, what the fuck? I thought he was going to be here. He's on the poster. And then, you know, when the Prague Pro came up, he was on the poster. And I guess a lot of people started, they didn't know if he was going to compete or not. And a lot of people started saying shit like, well, he signed the contract. And the promoter spent a lot of time promoting the fact that he's going to be there. And he should at least compete because, you know, based on his obligations. And I think that he felt obligated to do this show, even though there was something going on with him that, uh, that they couldn't control. Him and George Farrer couldn't control it. And that's why he had that smaller, flatter, watery look at the Prog Pro. Now, I don't know if it's still this way, but it used to be. If you were a pro and you signed a contract to compete, and you didn't compete, you got fined. Okay, so if that's still a fact, I don't think Kai would have... I mean, in the worst case, he would have got fourth. He still would have got a check with some money. If you pull out, you wind up paying money. So that doesn't make much sense if, you know, if it's to appease your ego that you're going to pull out of the show and wind up paying like 10 grand or 5 grand or whatever it is because you pulled out, you know, and make your sponsor unhappy, which is not the sponsor, but the promoter unhappy, you know, and have, you know, what happened at the Olympia look even worse if you're pulling out of a show and then not really giving a reason why, like my health complications, you know, it, I don't think it's an ego thing. I think something happened to him, and I don't think it's something like food poisoning. I really don't, okay? Because a lot of people are like, oh, stomach issues, food poisoning. I don't think it's something like that. And this is not speculation. This is not, I have nothing to prove this or basis on, but I'm going on by what little bit of information that we have. The, the edema that he had, edema, excuse me, the edema, the edema that he had with his socks digging into him means his body's retaining water. His kidneys aren't flushing water out um, efficiently for whatever reason. Now, you can be like, hey, you know, it was a flight. A lot of these guys took that flight, too. Dennis Wolf took it. Dexter Jackson took it. Sean Roden took that flight. A lot of them took the flight. They've been competing on this European tour, too, and they were able to rid themselves of that water. Now, what could possibly be causing Kai's body to fight back against, you know, whatever he's trying to do? To me, it sounds like a kidney problem. It really does. Stomach pains, kidney, kidney issues can manifest themselves as stomach pains, okay? Now, I also know a... Pro bodybuilder who is, uh, I mean, he's up there. He's, he's up there. And he said that they used to do the European tour. 
And he knew guys personally that were in the hospital before they got on the plane getting rehydrated. Like they fucking passed out, cramped up. They were all fucked up, like one step away from death's door. And they get on the plane, and of course their bodies are all fucked up because they depleted them and they're fucking reloading again, trying to fill the muscles out. And they're doing this all this shit on planes at a high altitude. They land. As they're getting off the plane, these motherfuckers are popping diuretics again. And, you know, he said some of them didn't even count them. They were just, they didn't even know how many milligrams it was. They were just poured out of the bottle, a couple different kinds, pop them and swallow them. And some of them would wind up back in the hospital in another country to get rehydrated just enough to get on stage and then go back to the hospital again. Now, could this be what's happening? It could be. It could be a diuretic issue. It could be the fact that Kai, unlike some of these other guys, pushes his body year-round. Like, you never see him shrink up. It doesn't look like he ever really takes time to rest. He's always constantly getting bigger, 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 bigger. Could it be that his body's finally like, fuck you, and it's had it, and it's fighting back? Could it be that his kidneys are malfunctioning? Could it be that, you know, the, um, the diuretics themselves, you know, just fuck the kidneys up in general it could be one of all those things but i don't i honestly don't think it's because he was being a dick and trying to pull out of the show to be a dick and the fact that he showed up the next day at the um the press conference that he had and he was speaking and he was okay makes you say okay it's definitely not a stomach bug okay because there was no no sick look to him whatsoever he was normal he actually looked healthier with his face a little bit fuller from whatever fluids they had given him and, you know, usually if someone's fucked up, they're going to they're gonna be sick for a couple of days with this food poisoning. I've had food poisoning a couple of times, and it fucking sucks. Like, you know, could I get through a European tour if I had to? But would I look good doing it? Fuck no. You would know something's wrong with me, and, you know, you'd be able to point it out very easily. But he was okay the next day, which makes me say, okay, maybe the kidney thing wasn't, his kidneys weren't malfunctioning. Maybe it literally was a case of over-dehydration. And the body produce too much all that strain. And when you're taking these diuretics and you try to put sodium back in them, some of them block sodium. Without the sodium, the water doesn't up to, the body doesn't uptake the water. So now you have to have a balance of the electrolytes again while this diuretic wears off. And after the diuretic wears off, which is potassium sparing and sodium depleting, the body rehydrates and you're okay. And that can take anywhere from depending on what he took, you know, 24 hours to three days. I've had aldactone in my system for up to three days where I couldn't carve back up or sodium up or anything. And all of a sudden, when it got out of my system, I woke up and I looked fucking ridiculous. So there's definitely, you know, a timing factor. But to me, it seems like there was a fast-acting diuretic that fucked up somehow or somewhere. They remedied it. They gave him IV fluids. They rehydrated him, and he was okay the next day. And that, you know, is more likely the situation. I don't think, honestly, again, I don't have any proof of any of this. It's just speculation. But if you look at what evidence we do have and what little they actually say, it would be different if these pros would come out and say, you know what, I'm in another country right now, I'm not breaking any fucking laws because this shit's 100% legal, I fucked up my diuretic regimen, or I fucked up my insulin loading, or whatever the case may be, like, admit what they're doing over there, so people go, oh, okay, I get it, but they can't do that, so they, they give you as little information as possible, some of them just flat out lie for the rest of it, and you're left to pick up the pieces, like, oh, you know, do you know how many fucking times I've heard bodybuilders, I've had food poisoning, food poisoning, food poisoning, Food poisoning, your fucking food is in a cooler constantly. It's cold, constantly. So unless it's fucking 10 days old, which it's probably not because you made the food for your competition, you're not eating food that fucking went bad. If you put your food in a cooler without fucking ice, then you're retarded and deserve food poisoning. But if your food is kept cold all the time, how the fuck do all these guys get food poisoning? It's not food poisoning. It's diuretic fuck-ups with a lot of these guys that makes them have to have food poisoning and then everybody's fucking paranoid in the amateur ranks that don't use diuretics about food poisoning because they've heard about all the pros getting it. And it's really a fuck up with the diuretics. So, I mean, closing on this, I don't think I was being a dick. I don't know what really happened. Nobody's going to know what really happened. Sooner or later, you know, the truth will get out. Someone will say something to somebody and it will pass around and it'll be half truth, half bullshit. But we'll have more of an idea of what really happened. But that's just my opinion in this case. BioCTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biocitraining.com is a blog and where it's the Prog Pro Bicep. Boom, and we're out.